amazing what God can do. Now this song, it's amazing what God can do. It was a song that I was, I'm trying to remember. It's been quite a while. I believe that this particular song was another spiritual inspiration that came in my home as I was sitting in my couch and I looked and I saw and realized I was no longer hiding from anyone. I was no longer jumping when I hear my doorbell ring, wondering who can that be? And when I go to places, when I go to parties and dance, I did not have to worry anymore in finding a corner where I could have my back against the wall where I can see everybody. Because these were some of the things that I used to practice when I was out there on the streets involved in wrongdoings. And as I, when I used to go out, I used to find a corner where I could see everybody. My peripheral had to be what's going on. And my thing was making sure that I detected anybody who's coming in looking different, looking out of place. I'm talking about with an expression on their face, flexing like they're looking for somebody. You know, uh, these were just some of my precautions precautions that I took. I was very uh, cautious about where I go and what I do. You don't need to live like that. It's not, it's not life. You have money in your pocket and you're unhappy. You got women all around, you're unhappy. You have a nice home, you're unhappy. Because the lifestyle that you live in is what needs to change. Sometimes it's not you, it's your lifestyle. Since my lifestyle has changed, Yes, there's still been danger. Yes, people have come to me and held me up. Yes, I've been in dangerous situations. But I just want to thank God that all that worries is over. So this song, it's amazing what God can do. It just matches looking back and reflecting on all the times. I didn't think that I could survive. One of the last traumatic things that happened to me which is pretty, I, I believe it's a, from a, a scale of one to nine, or one to 10, I believe it's an 11, to find out that one of my own child, who I've done to my, from my perspective, done no harm, has basically called somebody, you know, in my home, after calling the police, or trying to um, hurt me, just calling somebody to come over and hurt me, before she called the police, and when, that the police, when calling the person, would not work because, thank God, I knew that person. And the person knew that I was out there to help people. I was out there to help them put their guns down. Because this particular person was one of the persons uh, that I had uh, given his nephew uh, $600 to get an illegal gun out of their hands. You know, because at the back back in the day, a little while back, I, the police used to give me a, a holster, a blue case holster, where I could get these illegal guns off, take it, put it in the holster, zip it. Once you zip it, it's locked. You don't have access to that gun. Should a police officer pull me over and see that, they'll know that I'm just a good citizen trying to clean up a bad community. And this particular person, him and his nephew, I've always reached out to them to try to make a difference, to be positive in their lives. He's had friends that has been shot and killed. He's had friends that has been incarcerated or stabbed and, and murdered. He's seen death. He knows what it is to lose a loved one. I cannot say his name, but up until today, he's under police surveillance everywhere he goes. And I know he's a good guy and he's turned his life around because his life is no longer his. Everywhere he's going, he goes, he's tracked. Where uh, Whatever he does, he's watched 24-7. They would prefer to see him in the grave than to know he's alive. And he knows that. He knows that. So when my daughter calls him and say, you know, come and deal with my dad, you know, because he won't let me sleep over. He won't let me do what I want in my house, in his house. And since it's his house, I want somebody to come over and teach him a lesson. I want somebody to come and pistol whip him and show him that, listen, you know, I may be your daughter, but I got power. She's powerless. She's powerless. So she called the police to do her evil deed. 
And then when the police came, she didn't know what to tell him that I did wrong. The police saw everything and they removed her from my home. But to live with the fact that my daughter could do that, I'm still wondering if I was dreaming. But when I look at the footage that I cannot show to you um, of her swearing at me, her putting me down, her cursing and saying all kinds of terrible things and calling me bro and not daddy. And I'm thinking, where did I go wrong? I look back and this song, I said, thank you, God. This song is dedicated to every parent out there. And I pray that nothing like this happens to you because it kills a part of you that nobody can revive. Here it is. Oh, that's since Jesus passed by. Come on. In the name of Jesus, come on. Hey, I'm going to freeze that. The devil is a liar. I love God. You know why? Because in this life, we're allowed to make mistakes. We're allowed to read. And I can read and it says here, okay, it's amazing what God can do. That's track nine. I just love the Lord because Facebook allows us to make these mistakes and they don't look for perfection. But you, in yourself, because you represent God, you have to try to be as presentable to those who God allows you to speak into their lives. To be positive. There's a lot of people looking at you as an example out there. I know it's a big job because none of us can really measure up. But there's a position that's available that God has that nobody's filled yet. He says, be perfect as I am perfect. Study to show yourself approved. So there is a process that takes place. So please continue to try to be the best that you can be. And I will continue to pray and sing songs that will help with the transformation. Here it is. It's amazing what God can do. Come on. Let's be alone as we sleep right now. There are men on ships out in the sea. There are problems in science and technology. It's amazing what man can do. Promiscuity, pornography has all become a norm. No one looks down on them. With an ace for Said the beat of the music Has gone out of whack It's amazing what man can do It's amazing, amazing what man can do It's amazing, amazing what man can do It's amazing, amazing what man can do It's amazing of this world everywhere you look his goodness and greatness is written up in books the creature seems greater than the creator it's amazing what man can do well it's amazing amazing what man can do it's amazing amazing what man can do it's amazing, amazing what man can do. It's amazing what man can do. Said the world was created within seven days. The moon and the stars were all on up in place. He's the Alpha, Omega. It's 
about to hear it's entitled it's called Triumph I said this before that it is the time when President Obama got became the president of the United States I was in the plane going to the United States American Airlines I believe and uh, I looked into life and I said look at that a black man in the White House it's amazing what God can do and that's how I wrote this song. I was inspired by this man. So right away already, we got to be proud of who we are. I'm aware of Black History Month and this month being so. Uh, it just brings an enlightenment to our hearts. Never to limit yourself, no matter what color, creed, race you may be. No matter who you are, don't limit yourself because God will never limit you. When I die and I go on to see my Jesus, I know that this song will inspire people because we are inspired by others and that's how we grow and that's how we learn and that's how we overcome. Sometimes you have personal experiences but sometimes other people will always inspire you and I pray that this song, Trial, will make a big difference when you're going through hard times. Here we go. Come on now. right now 
So I'm just going to put a hold on that song and I'm going to fix it while you're here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nobody move, they say. Nobody get hurt. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the patience, for the love. Um, the uh, cord downstairs. So I'm going to have to hold this. Can't do anything. All right. Just hold on then. Praise God. I'll talk to you in the meantime. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stay with me, folks. Just a technical glitch. Praise God. It's so wonderful. I thank God that we can actually do this kind of thing when we are actually taping. Because for the television world, uh, it's a totally different, totally different experience. Um, you can't just stop and go. You have to just keep going and keep going. So give God all the glory. I give him thanks for technology pretty soon. Uh, we'll be able to edit and do all types of things through the world of technological technology. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just getting some power on this. And then we'll be all, all good to go. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you've heard this song. It's amazing what God can do. You've also heard the song of Tryon. Praise the name of Jesus. Give God all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your loving kindness. For the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out our transgression. Because to thee and thee only have we sinned in thy sight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. For those of you who are just tuning in, I want to welcome you to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly, Reverend Jerry Thompson. Uh, Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where nobody becomes a somebody. I was a young man coming from the pit now to the pulpit. What God is doing, he's showing people that he is truly no respecters of person. No matter what your race, color, creed, or religion may be, God loves you. And if you can express that love to others, you don't have to care what race, color, creed you are. They know love. People need more love. And as long as you can continue to do that, in spite of how they push you and try to compel you to be a part of a certain movement that they think you should fit in, make sure that you express love wherever you go. And that will outgrow. Since Jesus passed by. Praise the name of Jesus. Did somebody request since Jesus passed by? Oh, I know he's passing by right now. Praise God. Jesus is passing by right now. But what I'm going to do, I'm getting a request. So uh, right after that, try on. Then we have, okay, since Jesus passed by, we did three songs already. And then I believe the fourth one would have, was going to be. So I'm going to sacrifice that last song in order for since Jesus passed by. To make sure he passes by. Because I want you all to know you are important. You are very, very important. And because of you. Is why this ministry stands. Because of you. If you all notice I don't beg money and ask and all that. You must understand that television costs money. So if you're not sending it. Then you need to talk to God about that. Not me. And when you see that I don't come on air. Wherever you're viewing this telecast. Be England. Jamaica, Trinidad, I understand. I just got uh, in Grand Cayman right now. I just started on air about a month ago. I got the good news. So God is doing great things. Be a part of that good thing. You understand? You spend money. Coffee money is fine. And when you buy these CDs, when you purchase them, uh, you're allowing me to take the testimony of why I put the gun down to give into drug-infested communities, people who would never pay a dollar for those CDs. So when you buy these CDs, and give them to me, the responsibility to dispense of them, they are dispensed of. So your money does not go in my pocket, it goes into the ministry, which you're helping to have a safer community where your family may or may not live. You understand? Also, it helps to get guns off the street. Now guns are infested worldwide. So you can't say, oh, it's not in my neighborhood or in my country. So please, 
purchase those CD, go online, visionoftruth.com, um, and make your purchase there. Visa, MasterCard, I think you also have what? Um, PayPal. So just feel free. It's a safe site. 100%. I just spent a whole lot of money to make sure that your, comp your, your information is never compromised. It's controlled by PayPal. They're the ones. And if, when you make the purchase, I have five CDs for $50. Five CDs, one DVDs for $50. And that includes, includes shipping and handling. Then I have 10 CDs and three DVDs. And the three DVDs are consistent of at least nine, 10, 11 shows. So your money is well spent and they are anointed. They will bless you. So when you take your money and spend it, it's not coming in my pocket. It's blessing you because God's already blessed me and given me the ability to do this regardless whether you purchase them or not. But the blessing is for you and for those people who you make the purchase to donate to, I go and I bless them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Everybody wins. Again, I like to say for those who are purchasing properties anywhere or want to sell a property, you can help us that way too because we have a real estate agents all over the world. They are the one that sells your house for you. We don't get money from you, but we get money from referrals fee that we give to our top real estate agents throughout the world. So praise God. I'm going to go on to the other song now. And I believe it's since Jesus passed by. I think it's track four. Praise God. Let's see. Hallelujah. I say it all the time, you know, we're here for you, to you, and because of you. 
So when we allow the Holy Spirit to give an opinion and share it, you see the mighty goodness. That's where I talk about neuroplasticity. When you talk about prayer, neuroplasticity. When I talk about studying the word, neuroplasticity. When I talk about worship and praise, neuroplasticity. All these things is teaching you discipline. How to be disciplined in serving God in spirit and in truth. Now all of you know that I speak all the time about getting rid of the guns off the street. The donations that I have received, I believe, is about so far three hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken, three to four hundred dollars, and that's coming out of Jamaica. Now, Jamaica is not the only country that have guns, so I'm trying to understand why is it only Jamaica that right now I'm getting the donations from. Um, I've had some from, uh, I think it's Saint Vincent, uh, a couple, a couple small ones from the other islands, but folks. Every last community have guns, problems, drugs, prostitution, all types of wrongs. And when you send in these monies, it's not for Jerry Thompson. Every dime of it. That's why God has blessed me. I don't want to be responsible for your money or God's money. I'm responsible to make sure that the gospel of Jesus Christ is spread. And that every last dollar that comes in, it goes back out. Because it wasn't given to me to put in the bank. It wasn't given to me to buy fancy clothes. It wasn't given to me to buy a big house. In which none of the things I have, I have what God has given to me. And that's why nobody can take it away. That's why I don't beg. Because when I do, all y'all going to be seeing me. I'll be looking nice and trash and ready in my nice attire. And say, look at what our money is doing. No, no, honey, sister, brother. No, don't go there. Because when God blesses you, he doesn't let you depend on others. He let you depend on him. The same way manna fell from heaven. Now here's a song that was done by uh, Kenny Rogers called The Gambler. This song is saving lives all over the world. And I told you this before. There was many sound system that's still going on around the world that pulls the gunmen. Soul to sword, digital, corpus, torpedo, scorpion. Um, you name them. There are a lot of them that gunmen go and listen because these guys play some nice music and they love it. So the bad boys follow these different sound systems. That's where I go. And that's where I, I, I sing this song. And this song saved a man's life one day, one night from being shot. Club 24 uh, in, in Scarborough in Toronto, Canada. And this song is the one that saved a man's life. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jerry Equalizer, and I come to mind the name of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever. Now hear this. All you people of the ones to be gambler, I beg you, please don't gamble because you're going to lose the weight this way. The weight to sit is dead, but it gives to God's eternal life. Hear this. On a warm and summer's evening, on a train bound to nowhere, Met up with Jehovah, we were both too tired to see. So we took a turn to see me. The windows at the bed said, Lord, I'm overtook us. And then he began to speak. He said, Son, I made a life for real. But I read in people's faces, I'm like, knowing what the cards were. Survive it. There's no 
If you want to order CD 647-692-7793. I'm also going to be maybe fading out of Facebook because too much hackers are taking it away. They're trying to destroy my spirit. And anything that will destroy my spirit, i got to leave it alone. You understand? I've fought for it over and over and over. And, 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 and it just it's just tiring. Each morning I get up, the hackers take it. And, and, and I may give it to them if the Lord wants me to give it to them. So I'm going to be asking for subscribers, subscribes to my YouTube channel, visionoftruthtv.com. Every last person that subscribe, I think I get a penny or five cents or something. So you'll actually be helping me to get guns off the street because all those monies will be helping towards getting guns off the street. To 
going into the schools, the prisons, the ghettos, anywhere there's pain. You don't know what it's like. The other day I heard a young lady came to me in church. I was in the choir. I sing at Kennedy Road Tabernacle and I'm a part of the choir. And the young lady come down and says, um, Reverend Thompson, um, you don't know this, but I remember three years ago you spoke to me and my husband and uh, it's because of you why I'm still attending church, this church. And I felt so proud because I don't remember her. I, the fact of the matter is I reach out to so many people at so many different levels. I don't know how it is that God could use me so much. I'm humbled by it. And when I hear these things, I realize that, you know, don't limit yourself. Because God can use you in a mighty and powerful way. Call that number on the screen, 647-692-7793. Place your CD order. Or order uh Go on to my, uh, subscribe to my, my channel, which is visionoftruthtv.com, or order the CDs online, jerrysgospel.com. I love you, and may God be with you and keep you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I'm hearing prayer. Where am I hearing prayer from? I'm hearing prayer. Somebody out there. Somebody out there. I'm hearing prayer. Praise God. I'm hearing prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
I hope to remind.